Hi, this is Nick Hood, and I want to share with you uh, something I'm going to be preaching on tomorrow. What I'm really preaching about is, what should we pray for? What should we pray? Uh, not just how to pray. Jesus says, when you pray, start by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive the trespasses of others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. And that's an all-inclusive prayer. The first part, our Father, who art in heaven, is a prayer of praise. When Jesus says, give us this day our daily bread, he's saying, give us, and it's okay to ask God for your sustenance, uh, for your prosperity, for your wealth, for your health. That's your daily bread. He says, uh, lead us not into temptation. In other words, help us to get beyond uh, the desire to crave what other people want, uh, the desire to do things that are against the will of God. Um, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Tomorrow, <clears throat> I'm going to be preaching a little bit on that, but really I'm focusing on 1 Kings chapter 3 where young Solomon is the new king, his father has just died, and Solomon goes to bed at night, uh, probably tossing and turning, wondering, how in the world am I gonna follow my father? My father's a fighter, his predecessor Saul was a fighter, I'm a lover. You know, Solomon ended up with over a thousand wives, uh, and he made peace through love. Uh, David made peace through war, but Solomon actually ended up marrying the daughters of all of his rivals uh, who lived around Israel. It's an amazing political strategy. But Solomon prayed for wisdom. He didn't pray for wealth. He didn't pray for a good name. All he prayed for was wisdom. And God answers him in a dream and says, because you did not ask for wealth, you did not ask for fame, I'm going to give you all that uh, and much more because I'm going to make you wise. And <clears throat> there's a lesson in this. And to me, the lesson is that sometimes you and I are so specific, so direct in what we are asking of God. That's all well and good. But what God <clears throat> can do and give, a, give you and me, which is much greater than the specific request that we ask for, is wisdom. If you have wisdom, you can figure out what comes next. Uh, if you are wise, you'll figure out not only what you should be doing, but the sequencing. What, what do I need to do in life to get to the next place? Some of us are so fast uh, in trying to just get the little things that we think are so big, we miss something much, much bigger uh, because we are focused on a very, very minuscule thing. So <clears throat> that's what I'm preaching on tomorrow. And if you're in the Detroit area, I invite you to stop by the Plymouth United Church of Christ. We're located at 600 East Warren Avenue, right at the tip top of the Medical Center. And I'd love to see you. Worship's at 8.30 and 11. Again, this is Nick Hood, and God bless.